to be mounted. <laughs> We're going to have you all in our ribbon cutting, so we'll have you behind the ribbon. So we'll give a few seconds for that to happen. Mary and Lisa and everybody else. Congratulations to Katie and the Seashore Trolley Museum team on the launch of their new model railroad building. We're so excited for you guys and we wish you many years of success ahead. Designs. 
he met with them for two minutes, two undertaking the project, and that went on for um, for quite a while. So um, the uh, the budget and the grant which he made towards the construction of this was a bit over three million dollars, and you see the, the results here now. But I'd like to invite to her. <laughs> Pleasure to be here with all of you again, again not again today, but here today. And um, I guess you all know that this, this the project originated in Jonesport, Maine, and the model railroad was built up there. And I don't know the specific details, but it occurred in a, an outbuilding on the Beale property. And I'm assuming it grew over time and got very, very large. Uh, as a result, the problem here was anticipated to be as big as it was, but to move it from Jonesport down here and meet code officials' requirements, it had to be expanded. So the corridors up in Jonesport were very, very narrow, sometimes less than two feet in width, which wouldn't meet any egress requirements down here. So if you look around and notice that there's segments that are brand new that have been added to it to widen all of the corridors. And also up in Jonesport, all, almost all of all surfaces were very few windows of that, not the stadium and almost all of all surfaces were used for landscaping kinds of issues which they're recreating it here as well. So it meant that there were really no windows on the ground level to illuminate the space. So as a result, what we did, we went vertically and put all the windows up on an upper level and then put enough of an overhang to prevent a lot of direct sunlight from coming into the building. And uh, as a result, that ended up in a mezzanine, which when the railings are all finished, will be open to the public to have sort of panoramic views of the building. So the entire shape of the building and everything was really driven by the model railroad. And in some ways, I guess it's lucky that it's expanding as a result of that. So anyway, it was a pleasure working on it. And I also want to make a, a reference to Steve Berg as well, because he had the personality to work with all the consultants, the builders, the code officials, the, the budgets, and everything with all of this. And so we, I really appreciate working with him in the process. So glad you're all here today. All right. Is everyone just absolutely impressed with this building and this layout? Yeah. All right. So there are actually some people in here today who have their homes and businesses on the layout. If that's you, can you raise your hand? And if you're standing next to it, point. It's mostly Jones Court, which I think we've already discovered is over there where all of them are standing. So when I first met Helen Beale, it was January 1st, 2021, and I didn't really know what to expect. I had just driven seven hours to watch the sunrise in the New Year. It was, it was a thing. But we had heard, uh, like Jim had uh, described, that there, were the, that there was this absolutely fantastic layout in Jonesport, Maine that we just had to see, and we had to consider hosting and rehoming. So when I pulled in, I was greeted by the brightest smile I've seen in a really long time in a lemon meringue pie, because at 9 a.m. I rarely that's what you eat. And for the next day, I spent with Helen, she just, she took me through the layout and walked me through it, and just with such passion in her eyes, just described everything in front of her. And, you know, it was a little sad because the Beals family, Harry, they had been looking for a new home for quite some time for the layout, and no one could take the whole thing. And we wouldn't have been able to either without the generous uh, donation from the Viz Foundation. So when I left, I was just under such um, like enthusiasm and passion that we had to make this work. And so after speaking with our volunteers and going back up to speak to Helen and Harry and Sherry and a million other Beale family members, we decided that this was going to be a good fit, not just because the layout would be a wonderful exhibit here, but because of the family that created it and also Jonesport, the Jonesport community, which is rooting for us to take it. So uh, we're just so happy that Harry is with us today, that Lisa's here, that everyone drove down to see it in their new space. You're always welcome. We hope you come back. Um, we did a, an exhibit for Helen and Buzz. Um, if you walked in, you might have missed it, but if you want more of the story, um, it's over there for you to follow. But we will be adding more exhibits and displays in the mezzanine, and we'll continue to, to share the history of the layout with our members. Um, at this time, I would love to turn the mic over to Gary and then Lisa. They'll uh, talk maybe a little bit more about themselves, their involvement, and uh, have a few words also for us. Well, thank you, Mark. I'm, uh, I'm in here today, but I'm 
was with my uncle and uh, Alan and his wife. And we started about 35 years ago uh, to build the railroad from us and I could run like a real railroad. And actually, this layout was designed that you could do that like a real railroad. And it went through two or three iterations until we came to what you see now. And all I can say is thank you so much to the donors, this museum, this museum and how to set this up. This is going to be here for a long time. And it just, uh, it brings tears to my eyes to see this after building it 35 years ago. So thank you all for coming and enjoying it. <laughs> She wanted to come, but she could not come. She will soon be 95 and wanted to drive down and come down from Dover, but was unable to be here. So we're very thankful on behalf of our family and just so appreciative of what has transpired here. We've all seen the model railroad growing over the course of several years, Gary alluded to 35 years, and I'm sorry to say that I'm only 35, so I don't remember those early years as well. And just wonderful to go and go down to Jonesport and see what Callum and Buzz and Harry were about doing. And it was a, the railroad was a draw, but Callum and Buzz were the biggest draw. Because my Aunt Callum and Uncle Buzzy, any of you that know them, knew that they just loved people and liked to have people come into their home. They were friendly and kind and affable. And and Helen was an amazing cook, something that she gained from her own mother. And so I know outside today they've uh, tried to replicate some of Aunt Helen's famous recipes, such as peanut butter cookies and whoopie pies and molasses cookies and that lemon meringue pie, which would not have done well sitting here, I guess, today. But she was all about pies. So, and whenever you went to visit, she wanted to make sure that um, you had a pie as well, and, or some dessert, or, or some baked good, or some canned vegetable, or, or spaghetti sauce, or whatever it was. And part of the joy of going as well, not only just them, but was seeing what was happening in this room. And such a delight for them. She was really looking forward to this coming to fruition. And we were sharing earlier, my sister, Sister-in-law was sharing about how Helen, uh, Helen wanted to keep it on the QT for a little while, uh, that this was all happening, uh, and just wanted to make sure I think that it was actually going to happen. And both Uncle Buzz and Aunt Helen were very unassuming. They weren't anyone who enjoyed the limelight. They just enjoyed life and enjoyed what they were doing here. And this is like truly amazing for our family to see what's been done here. And um, on Helen, you know, never, she could have had some bragging rights, right, about the fact that this building was named after them, and just uh, unbelievable what, what has happened here. And we're grateful to the donators, and certainly Hans and his wife, and we really appreciate what the Seashore Trolley Museum has done, all the volunteers. My cousin, Sonny, on Helen, son was unable to be here today, but he did come down uh, a couple of weeks ago, and Donna was working on his mother's home, which is over in the, the corner there toward that side door, and pretty sweet. Donna even teared up when she was sharing that with us today about that it was her job to put the finishing touches on, uh, on Helen and Uncle Buzzy's home in Jonesport. So we're thankful to be here. We're thankful for what has transpired. We're thankful all the work and all the donations is both a, uh, kind of a joyful and emotional time for us to look around and see what went from small town USA and a little building in Jones 
for our love for trains, which uh, Harry and Uncle Buzz certainly spent hours and hours in, as did Aunt Helen. And even after Uncle Buzz died in 2012, she stuck right there in her little place waiting for people to come and, and visit and, and make their donations. And right. one of my favorite memories is just going and visiting and watching Uncle Buzz as he would hopefully stop the train rolling. And I was like a little kid every time we went, and just thinking, okay, I hope he stops the train. I hope he doesn't say no. Uh, not that he ever would, but um, we're uh, thankful to be here. And, I just appreciate everyone and the work that's gone into this. So thank you, Katie, for letting me say a few words about my aunt and my family. Thank you so much. So the original name of this building is the Maine Central Model Railroad, created by Helen and Harold Beal. And we're in the process of getting a beautiful sign made for the front, so you'll have to come back in a few months to check that out. Um, I was fortunate enough to meet Helen and for two years we were really good friends and she was really rooting for us from afar. Unfortunately she did pass away September 18th, 2023 and as Lisa and Harry said, it's now our tremendous honor to carry on their, their legacy and uh, we're continuing to build and we're looking forward to seeing how this uh, layout transforms our museum as well. So, um, any fun? Just, just one detail. Some people may wonder what is the railroad museum doing inside of the trolley museum? Because they're both rail, but they're not quite the same. They don't tie together. Well, we're going to tie them closer together because where there's some streets over there, they're going to have a streetcar line, trolley line built into them. So they can see how trolleys will work with the uh, right. railroad in the environment of years gone by. So, any questions or comments anybody has here? Not I'd say we uh, well, thank you all for, for being here and for, for coming, and especially those who came all the way from Jonesport. We're delighted to have them. Please do come anytime you're in the area or want to be in the area. So thank you all. Enjoy the, I guess we're going to enjoy the snacks now. Yeah, there's lots of snacks. All right. Out the side door, I'll probably get you there. Thank you all. Thank you.